hindi naman siya nagka-pet dinosaur at hindi niya naging classmate si Jose Rizal. Grabe naman kayo. Hindi naman ganun katanda si Juan Ponce Enrile. He is only 100 years old. On the occasion of his 100th birthday, we bring to you the metamorphosis of Juan Ponce Enrile. He was born out of wedlock on February 14, 1924 in Gonzaga, Cagayan. He grew up poor, but after the war, as in World War II, he sought out his father and to make the long story short, Juanito Furaganan became Juan Ponce Enrile. Very A-type si Manong John Nino. He earned an associate degree from the Ateneo, a law degree from UP, and a Master of Laws from Harvard. Una siyang sumikat as a de facto finance secretary of President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. And then he became the Justice Secretary and then the Defense Secretary. For some people, isang buong career na yon, but not for Manong John. It was Enrile who helped in the preparation for the Declaration of Martial Law. In September 1972, inambush ang kanyang sasakyan sa Wakwak, Mandaluyong, or so yun yung kwento niya. Yan ang sinayit ni Marco Sr. as basis for declaring martial law. Later on, sinabi ni Enrile na stage daw yun. And then in his memoir in 2012, sabi niya, joke lang, legit daw yun. It's one of the mysteries surrounding Manong Johnny to this day. Basta ang sure tayo ang confirmed, Enrile was one of the top guns during the Marcos dictatorship. And here's where we witness Enrile's first political metamorphosis. Isa siya sa nagplano ng kudeta laban kay Marcos Sr. And he succeeded, riding the zeitgeist ng mga Pilipinong sawang-sawa na sa pagdurusa under FM Sr. The Edsa Revolution happened, Cory Aquino became president, and behold, naging defense secretary siya ni Cory Although, mabilis lang. Kasi, guess what? Nag-attempt din siya ng isang kudeta laban kay Cory. Again, metamorphosis. This time, as a full-fledged politiko. He became a senator in 1987. Then, he became Cagayan representative. And then, bumalik siya sa Senate ulit. He was on Arab side when he was ousted as president. He even tried to push for another people power revolution, yung tinatawag nilang Ed Tres in 2001. What followed was a pretty low time for Manong Johnny. He ran again for the Senate but lost. Was that the end of Juan Ponce Enrile? No, of course not. He made a comeback as senator in 2004. Then, as Senate President at age 88, he presided over the impeachment trial of then Chief Justice Renato Corona. This was under the administration of Noy Noy Aquino. Yes, as in yung anak ni Cory. But from his post-impeachment high, Enrile fell from grace when he was indicted for plunder in 2014 for his alleged involvement in the pork barrel scam. Nukulong siya briefly but was released on bail on humanitarian grounds kasi raw natanda na siya. He ran again for the Senate in 2019 but this time he lost. So was that the end of Juan Ponce Enrile in Philippine politics? Of course not. He was nowhere near done. He sat down in an interview with, surprise, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who was then smarting from his defeat in the 2016 vice presidential race. In 2021, lumitaw na naman si Manong Johnny in the middle of the pandemic, defending then President Rodrigo Duterte's decision to play nice to China. Tapos, in 2022, with the Marcos back in Malacanang, na-appoint siya as Chief Presidential Legal Counsel ni Ferdinand Jr., the son of the president he once helped kick out. Hindi man naging best ni Juan Ponce Enrile ang nag-establish ng First Philippine Republic, although nag-abot sila ha. He has lived long enough not just to witness the struggles and rebirth of our young democracy, literally may key role siya sa key points in our nation's history. So ngayon, at 100 years young, may paandar pa kaya si Manong Johnny?